Just making that be uh, more efficient. Uh, just a matter of making shots and uh, you know not being a volume shooter. And, um, you know, just being efficient, taking good shots, and you know, doing what coaches ask me to do. How how different do you feel like you're playing right now? How much more the way he wants do you feel like you're playing, or, or did you play tonight? Uh, I mean, noticeably, diff noticeably different. Um, you know, just playing more relaxed, more more calm, and you know, being efficient in shots, and uh, again trying to get everybody involved and you know, rebound, defend, and you know, trying try to help the team out break in. Usually when we see you score this many points, it's because you hit six or seven threes. To, to do it on three of those and get more free throws and hit more drives, how important was that in terms of making that progress towards being the guy Cal wants you to be? Oh, uh, no, it's dry. It's, you know, just you have to be more aggressive and you know, it just sounds like I got to be strong and just take it to the rack and you know, I'm sure I can do that. So uh, just going, getting better at it, you know, that's all practice, getting in the gym and, um, and then working at it. How much did making that one three that, that provided the lead again kind of relax you? Um, I mean, no, it's not the first, not the last. It's just another shot. Um, you know, another shot I'm trying to be efficient at and you know, make, make big plays down the stretch. And, you know, do what the team needs me to do. Maybe it should be me a shot, so I'm, I'm trying to you know, execute that. You know. Cal brought up your one bad three-pointer tonight. Are you surprised? <laughs> no, it was, it was a bad shot. Um, <laughs> no, I was feeling it, and I took it. But and I understand I, I had the drive, um, but I set up for the three. Did you sense it seemed like the way he talked to us? This was about as pleased as he's been though overall with your your choices out there. Did you do you get that sense from him tonight? Yeah, he's for sure. You know, he told me he told me you know, he's happy with the way I played and you know, how aggressive I was and taking to the hole and you know, drawing fouls and you know finding people um, today and you know my aggressiveness on the board. So but overall, I think I think I did a good job today and I'm just happy we got the double. How important is it for this team to know that? I mean, Tyler had nine assists. Not like he had a bad game, but. On a night where he's not red hot like he's been, that you guys are fine, that other oh, yeah. guys can step up. You know, we got guys like you know, Isaac that are just giving us second chances, you know, for um, you know, for him to shoot or anybody else to shoot. You know, Isaiah did a great job of you know, getting rebounds and um, you know help facilitate the offense. So, no, I know we got guys that can roll stuff. Even when we have you know Alex, you know Marcus, uh, um, you know out for the game. So, uh, you know, we, we got a, we got a good bench and you just gotta get Scott up to par and um, no, we'll be fine. How much of the season for you has been just figuring out what how Cal wants you to play and, and getting to that comfort level? Um, you know, it's just a feel, you know. You gotta go there and you know, you know, come and play out, play off with Tyler. You know, he plays off of me a little bit. And same with Isaiah. So you know, we allow our guards a lot to um, you know, get us in, into stuff and um, keep us organized. So you know, Isaiah's doing a great job of uh, you know help facilitate uh, Tyler and you know, Tyler's doing his thing. Of course, and I'm just there to help him out. Does it make sense to you why? I mean, does it does it register with you why Cal wants you to play this way? I mean, you know, it's not it's not a high school game anymore. You know, you know, it's, you know set defenses, their strategies, and um, you guys are much stronger, more aggressive. So I mean, beginning of the season I had a lot of more turnovers, and you know, now I'm just trying to cut that out and um, you know, make smart plays and you know, just be efficient. So early in the season you talked about the adjustment of three guards, three basically point guards playing together. Do you feel like? You three have sort of hit your groove now that you that you figured it out. Yeah, for sure. You know, we're playing off each other. We're all you know moving up the ball, and um, you know everybody knows the plays in every spot. So we just we know where to be. We know everybody's going to be on the court. So it makes it a job, our job a lot easier when um, you know we know where people are going to be and uh, you know where we're, we're going to get a shot from. Two months ago, started making that comeback a little bit in that second half. What was the difference tonight versus a few weeks ago? Um, we stuck together. We noticed that there was a lot of time on the clock. Uh, and we can't just get lax and you know, kind of go through, go through the uh, plays. And, um, you know, at times we did that. You know, in most play, we're not really setting screens, so we call timeouts to get everybody together and you know, keep everybody mentally in the game. You really made that drive there after they got that, you know, put back on the oop or whatever. Um, was that one of the winning plays Cal's been talking about with you guys? Did you think about that? Yeah, just playing strong, just being aggressive, and um, you know, taking it to the hole and. Just finishing plays, you know, just be a big guard that I am, and um, sure I can you know, finish over top of top of um, uh, big men over there. So that was just a strong play that I made, and that's special. Talk about the, the four games in a row now with ten plus three pointers for this team. Talk about the stretch you guys are in three point land. Um, you know, everybody's stepping up different games. You know, this game Tyler Ty, 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 um, wasn't shooting well, but we had Derek and I hit what seven, eight, three, something like that. So. Um, you know, everybody steps up at different times of the, of the game, and uh, that's what we need. You know, it's it's random, but we're organized at the same time. Two months Derek ago, was, would you have guessed that Derek had a 25-point game in him? Oh, for sure. I mean, in practice, you know, he scores. He's always, you know, like getting open shots and, um, and not coming down. So, uh, you know, he's become a big part of our offense, and we just need him to keep hitting shots and keep rebounding. He's over there with you guys bags of ice on his knees, and he's kind of limping up. You know, barely gets up to the podium and said it's just his legs are deteriorating. 
you know, what does it say when a guy doesn't play a lot of minutes, all of a sudden playing a lot of minutes, and he's saying, hey, it's a big adjustment for me. I still haven't quite got it. But he goes a 7 of 11 from 3 in the process. Uh, you know, you know, he's doing this thing, and you know, we, we need to find a way to get him a break, and that's where Isaac comes in and, uh, you know, really gives us a lift of, you know, the rebounding and, uh, you know, shot blocking. You know, he's proven he can do that. So, you know, it kind of gives our guys a break. But when he's hitting like that, you know, he's got to leave him on the floor. Coach says you guys are empowered now. What does he mean by that? Uh, it means that we can run the own show and we and we know what we're doing. We know we know how we're gonna play and our style. So uh, it's, it's just kind of us taking over and and using the staff for some, uh, them. You know, us looking to them to for everything. How important was it for you guys to hold on to the lead against those guys? How much did you have to talk about that and think about that tonight? Um, you know, it's it's about time. You know, we've you know, actually you know held, held the lead and. Uh, you know, put a team away. So it was good for us to stop their stop their running and, and their momentum and just you know turn it back on them. Jamal, how good does it feel when Cal says, "Okay, you guys are empowered. You guys have earned that right. You guys know what you're doing." Since he's not such a soft guy, it's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, it's good, you know, to have him uh, you know, have trust in us and have more, you know, uh, no faith in us. So you know, we're just going out there and 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 Tyler's running the team and as he is, you know, doing a good job of of uh, you know, facilitating that. And, um, now we just like to coach for you know certain, certain plays or certain def defensive sets. So, I uh, know we're doing a great job of, of um, you know helping each other and trusting each other a lot more. So I, and that's what we mean about Byron. Calipari said you played an almost perfect game, and I know he's been tough on you this year. What does it feel to know that he said that tonight? Other than one play, I think he thought you played perfectly. Yeah, I agree with him on the one play, and um, I just gotta go out there and you know keep consistent. You know, get better every day. Um, and I'm just trying to each game, you know, get better, limit my turnovers, limit uh, you know mistakes, and. Um, just play solid defense, so I'm just going there, just, just, just uh, you know, playing and improving it. Jamal, has your mentality changed over the last few games? Um, no. With, it's, with your approach of how Cal wants you to play, with you know maybe driving more instead of taking more jump shots. Um, it's just you know different reads, you know coming off screens instead of you know catching, setting up, and you know going back to old habits. It's just um, creating new ones and, and uh, positive ones. So I was go there and, and trying to adjust and modify my game a little bit, and it's been working. How beat up is this team right now? Derek was talking about his knees, and of course Marcus and Alex. And is this team just trying to push through right now? Yeah, we're we're um you know, on the ground right now, and um, you know, the Breakfast Club is waking up early in the morning, lifted, trying to keep up the strength. So um, yeah, we, we gotta we gotta keep doing it, and we gotta you know guys gotta get healthy, guys gotta stay on top of, take care of the bodies, and I'm you know, being included. And um, you know, right now guys are stepping up, but that can only hold for, for so long. So we need guys to. Get out the end, you know, be back. Did you realize you and Willis both shot eight of twelve from the field? It's pretty impressive. Yes, yeah, I mean, Derek's hitting shots. He's a great shooter, and um, he's hitting all shots, all kinds of shots in practice. So, um, you know, we trust him when we when we give him the ball. He's gonna make good decisions. So, uh, me the same thing. I'm just trying to, you know, not take as many threes and just be more efficient. Okay, could you all be if you guys were knocking those shots down? You and Derek. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, Tyler, if Tyler's hot, you know, Derek's hitting threes. Um, I'm, I'm shooting it well, so um, you know we can be very dangerous. Uh, a lot of threats on the court, and you know Isaiah's. It wasn't his day shooting, but you know he's gotten better. A lot of taking confidence shots in practice, and he's been making them. So um, you know we we look we look to Isaiah, you know, shoot and and you know, help us, you know, hit some shots. So um, you know, Scal's shooting the jumper well, and. Um, no, all of us hit shots. So I mean, that's that's basically one of our, our strong points in our offense. Coach talked about that you guys probably prefer playing games and practicing, so that the quick turnaround doesn't bother you too much. Do you, sure. do you like the quick turnaround? Got to get back on the floor in 48 hours. Yeah, it changed guys' mentality. You know, guys are more prepared, more focused, and you know, simple stuff. It's just like you know, um, you know, going to bed early, eating healthy. You guys know that they can't they can't skip treatment stuff like that. So you know, it keeps guys fresh and um, you know, mentally mentally right. So. Uh, yeah, this tournament is going to be good for us. How much pride do you guys take in uh, you got a streak going with 10 or more threes in games? <laughs> How much of a pride thing is that to keep that going? No, no we, shoot, we all shoot the ball with confidence and, you know, guys are rebounding, we're getting second shot opportunities, so, I mean, uh, we're not putting any pressure on ourselves to shoot. Um, the bigs are shooting, uh, Isaiah's starting to shoot more, and uh, that's why we need, we need guys to step up in and shoot the ball. And, um, I just got to be more aggressive and take the ball, so we're all doing different things. Do you know much about Texas A&M at all? Do you guys look good, know anything about their team? We were focusing on our, on our tendency because we know we lost in the floor, so uh, we had a lot of focus on them, and uh, we improved that tonight, but now we got a quick turnaround and got to focus on Texas. Where do you think your game is right now, Jamal? Um, I mean, Coach seems to be pushing you to do more or do less or do differently. 
what what do you think he's asking for? You, that, you know, he just wants me to play solid, not do any you know, crazy flip shots or you know, take bad, bad shots. So, um, he wants me to play solid on defense and um, uh, you know rebound, be a big guard. So that's what I'm just trying to do right now. And uh, I, did, I think I did well tonight. On the How hot do you think you are? You're not gonna shoot. I'm fine. I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to hit shots, so I'm not gonna get over excited when I do. Uh, I'm just happy to know that you know, Derek got it going on you know, a career day and um, you know, Isaac played well and uh, you know, he fought. So, you know, Tyler will get it back next game. Don't worry about him. What what difference does it make when, when D Derek uh, joins you and Tyler and gives you guys a third score? It helps a lot. You know, it puts a lot of, takes a lot of weight off of us and um, you know, stretches the defense. The guys can't just focus on me or, or Tyler. They got to focus on you know, most guys on the court. And, uh, they can't just leave Marcus because you know, he's, he's back there for the love. So. It does push pressure on the team here on the How much has your game changed maybe since you first got to Kentucky? Has um, it changed? You know, playing point all my life, um, you know, running teams, and come, come here, it was a struggle at first to um, play off the ball and play as a catch and shoot player. And, um, it was hard, but I mean, I've changed a little bit and um, you know, I'm comfortable playing off of people and moving without the ball and you know, making different reads. And, so, I mean, I'm, I'm basically playing two different positions at the same time and you know, having Isaiah on the court you know, keeps me off the ball as well and lets Isaiah run the show a little bit. So, you know, he's been doing a great job and I was playing off people right now. How much of a benefit is that, that you are sort of adapting and learning how to play differently than, than when you first got into um, you know, it teaches you a lot, you know, just different uh, perspectives and uh, different views, different angles on the court that you're seeing everything from. And, um, you know, it's, it's important to talk on offense as much as on defense. And, um, you know, guys are doing that, and that's helping me a lot, uh, knowing where I'm going to be on the court and knowing where everyone else is going to be. Tom, what was it like the other morning when you all worked out with Shannon Spade? Pardon? What was it like the other morning when you guys worked out with Shannon Spade? It, it, was, it was fun. You know, we went in there, we, uh, we knew what we had to do, and everybody was there and up early. So, I went in there and um, you know got some got some good work in before class, so everybody had fun and uh, it was ha we were happy that she could do. Did she Come actually on. work out with you? No, she was she was just kind of watching around. And, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to what to everyone else was doing. I was just kind of going there with the teammates and I didn't tell you know the best ways. You know, usually when she comes here, she comes and runs stairs and everything. Would you like to do that with her sometime? Um, no, I got I got you know, to get some treatment. Um, <laughs> so I guess that's a no. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got, I got, you no know, things to do in my free time, but um, yeah. How, how have you and Tyler's personalities meshed better over the season? Have you gotten closer as the seasons went on? I mean, yeah. I mean, he's. Um, now, at first, it was just kind of like, you know, who's playing point? You know, we're kind of focused on our basketball with him, our personalities, and. Um, but I mean, other than that, no. I mean, that was just we can't wait to get in the court with each other. We play so well. Playing off each other and, and um, communicating and, and talking and stuff like that. So now I know our personalities have, have changed a bit to each other, and, and uh, we have a lot of fun just you know just just spending time with each other. Thanks.